reach these masses with the, with the gospel. The Siberian Breakthrough, the largest ever mass delivery of Seventh-day Adventist books into Siberia. Sparked by the ministry of It Is Written and fueled by generous donors. Come with me as we uh, see where it all came together. Our part at the Source of Life Publishing House was to provide to print 30,000 books and to have them ready for shipment by the dead of winter. Lying under a heavy blanket of snow is a small village about two hours from Moscow. The village has been the home of the Source of Life Publishing House since 1990. About 16 million pieces of literature have rolled off the presses since its opening. The Siberian Breakthrough began at the Source of Life Publishing House. The challenge was to print and distribute almost 30,000 books and ship them to Central Siberia in the dead of winter when it's 70 below zero. After the books were printed, they began the shortest leg of their journey, which is from the publishing house to the railroad. Following that, it's on the train that our books take their longest journey. They traveled 2,400 miles on the Trans-Siberian Railway into the vast expanse of Siberia. Where the railroad ends, a bus trip begins. Out there, a person learns to make do with what you have. Believe it or not, they loaded their books as extra freight onto a convoy of buses that were hauling barrels of fuel. What is most amazing is that they were going to drive up a frozen river. It's the only way that heavy freight travels in that region during the depths of winter. Would you believe that by December the river freezes seven feet thick and becomes the main highway? In the summer, barges ply the river, and during the seasons when the ice is thin, nothing moves. After four days of driving on the river road of ice, the buses get as far north as is passable, and then it was a helicopter that carried our books the final 400 miles. The journey up the river of ice is four long days. This is where I'd like to introduce you to Alexander Moros, a Russian Adventist helicopter pilot. This man is the vital link in the journey of the books. Actually, Alexander is an Adventist today because he read a book published by It Is Written. Alexander was the last link in the shipping of these books, but he certainly is not the last link in the story. You see, he not only flies the books to the destination, but he also personally distributes them. These books are readily accepted because Russians love to read. Alexander Moros is more than a helicopter pilot. He's also a dedicated layman. He and his family live in a little Siberian town of Mirani in remote central Siberia. The willingness of Alexandra Morose to transport the books free of charge has provided the people of his region with literally thousands of truth-filled books. Without his unselfish devotion to the Lord's work, the people of his region would never have the opportunity to experience the Seventh-day Adventist truth. Because of the Siberian breakthrough, the Adventists of Siberia can share their faith with their friends and neighbors by distributing truth-filled Seventh-day Adventist literature. Literature that literally traveled thousands of miles by truck, train, bus, and helicopter to tell the remote Siberian world of the soon return of Jesus Christ. If it were not for the ministry of Mark Finley and it is written, this story of the gospel reaching the remote regions of Siberia would not be. Think about it. One book of it is written ministry deeply touched one man, and that one man is used of God's to reach thousands. The Siberian Breakthrough is truly the work of God to share the good news of Christ's redeeming love to the gospel-starved people of Central Siberia.